Michael. Hello and welcome to this week's edition Hi. of the Nevermore campaign. I'm joined by some wonderful wavy people who are uh, going to be playing today. Now we have a full house, which means we are back to our main campaign. And for those of you who don't remember exactly what was going on, we're going to go to, and I'm going to randomly roll a dice here okay. and that would be number five mitch why don't you just give us a brief recap of what happened last time on the nevermore we didn't wake iris <laughs> we went around and captured guards we got yeah. salt stuff from the kitchen yeah we sent a guard off we woke iris yeah it was uncomfortable it was shouting <laughs> it was screaming they were all mad and then and then we sent a guy off with a million gold, all our monies, to go live a new life and, and deliver a message. Yeah. Yeah. And then we put salt on the Beyblade and we're ready to let her rip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and we really carried Iris through that whole game. God, my back hurts. Oh my I goodness. I was unconscious for like an hour. Just I didn't play at all last week. I felt week. so bad. I felt so bad. Okay. I mean, all right. I'm, the, I'm the one who got chewed out on that. Just well, I mean, in truth. All it's right. Because Ray's smart enough to leave the room when it starts. <laughs> yeah, Ray's yeah, like, I'm going to go and, fix and, this and, thing and, over here. I'll and, see you all later. And, and, Iggy was so, and Iggy was smart enough to be like, yeah, I'm not going to mention the fact that I went and got, and snuck off in the middle of the, the dark elves with the queen. The blame uh, is already being thrown around. Oh, yeah. my God. I love yeah. it. Yeah. And then the week. It's like football. And the oh! week after, I got to be a man. That's right. Yeah, a bearded, with a beard. A bearded, a bearded man, yeah. That was so fun. And I got to be a dark elf. <laughs> that really true. is the no. best thing to be, is a bearded man, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can turned the tables that. and just got really mad at you for being evil. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny, though. I was somehow even nicer as a dark elf. You were yeah. super nice. The dark elf was really super not necessarily polite. evil. He was a very nice guy. Yeah. Necessarily. This is the map that we find ourselves in. We had taken up certain positions. I cannot for the life of me, though, remember why Ray is standing in the doorway that the Bane Lord is going to walk through shortly. So he's actually going to go into the, um, the Special secret, secret room. room with the guard, and when he walks in, they were going to seal that door, weren't they? Yep. We were going okay. to come out behind, essentially, like, just come in and lock off his point of exit. I gotcha. And you have a guard with you, so I am going to give you a guard with which to uh, enact it's a squiggly line. diabolical plan. Yes. The G, the G um, is not enough is what you're saying? The G is not enough. Sometimes <laughs> you need, you just need more G. Um, sounds like a slogan for some kind of drug, right? Gatorade. Gatorade. Did not sponsor the show. just a little more G. <laughs> warmer, warmer <ride>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is uh, this is your plan of action is to get in here and to hopefully see what happens. There is that slithering, slimy sound that you hear as something is approaching. It gets louder and louder and louder, and eventually the door bursts open. And I know Mitch is going to love this one. As it bursts open, this gigantic creature bursts in through the room, through the doorway. <laughs> Just this mass of teeth and little writhing maggoty worm-like things. And match yes, it. you match. There you go. Look at you. <laughs> you match the abomination. Yay! Match the abomination. <laughs> um, it Hang bursts on, into the chamber. <laughs> It pays no attention to Iris. You were flying up in the I'm air. I'm flying up in the scare That's in right. the area. That's right. With buckets of water, salt <laughs> it, water. It doesn't look at Sidon at all. It looks directly ahead at the drow and simply says, Report. Have you got the device to work yet or not? The two drow pause for a fraction of a second. What is everyone else doing? Bondra, I'll get him close. Get him within swinging Just, range. I'm, I'm hoping he'll yeah, move in through. I'm waiting for them, but I'm about to teleport in and, and press the buttons as soon as he's um, in. I'm, I'm going to start studying him for the next... <laughs> Two hours, 15 minutes. <laughs> Wait, hold. Oh, God, we're dying! Hold. You're sad! Hang on! In, 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 
Just an hour more, yeah, you've got in, this. In, 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 <laughs> in television, we have this symbol, which means pad it out, play it out yeah, for long. You're just going to do that for the next two hours to the draw. It's like, just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> intricate detail about what every symbol means. <laughs> exactly. The draw steps forward. He has made his smarts check, his uh, wits check. And he says, my lord, we have discovered something. You should have a look here. The device, the ruins, we understand now. He glares at them. And he sees the blades that are covered in salt. We were subtle. Uh, yeah, you guys were subtle. That is a, uh, a 15 that he rolls there on his uh, awareness uh, check his um, awareness check what am I saying uh, on his check to uh, sense what's going on um, and he steps forward ever so slightly well steps is the wrong word he kind of oozes into the room uh -huh. cool uh, as soon as he does that I'm going to barrier behind him and then teleport right there and that's I guess my action I'm going to immediately and then hopefully press the button that's my play <laughs> button so the barrier is a reaction, right? Barrier, yeah, it's a, it's an action. So whatever. Uh, it's an action. Yeah. Okay. So, and the teleporting is a reaction. Uh, teleporting is a free action. Is a free action. Okay. All right. So you teleport right next to this base. You throw up a barrier. Did you put the barrier where I'm coming in? He you did. can walk through it. Oh, I can walk through it. Okay. Put a yeah. barrier and you can walk through it because that's it. It, would, it will damage it, but uh, you can walk through. It. Okay. I'm going to be damaging it. One second. So oh, that's good. what you were doing. As soon as you appear at the pedestal, the, his lordship immediately knows what's... Well, he knows that something's up. Who are you? He breathes briefly. But we are into a combat situation. So we're into rounds now. And um, <clears throat> I Iggy, I think you need to think about pressing this button... You were going to stand right in the center to press the button? Uh, yeah, I was going to, like, I think I've done this before where I've stood right there and everything yes. is fine. Correct. Um, so, and everyone's out of the way. So, yeah, I'm going to do the thing. That's not entirely true. Oh, the drow? Yeah. That's they fine. Stepped That's forward fine. when his lordship entered. Uh, does he. <laughs> One second. Hopefully, I'm not going to kill this guy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give him a chance to move because he will be. He knows the plan, so he does know the plan. Yep. That so I'm going to give him true. a chance to move. So I'm going to wait and then press the button. All right, you're going to wait. Sidden, Iris, or Ray? Um, I guess go ahead. My entire turn's going to be running to the door. I feel like I'm going to wait. I mean. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm it's 40 to the door. Okay, you're just going to wait, Sidden? All right, so you're waiting. Uh, Iris, uh, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to... I'm going to dump the bucket of water on his head. No, I have two, so I'm, I'm going to dump one bucket over his head, see if the water makes him burn. <laughs> All right. Spoosh! <laughs> Melting! <laughs> what a curl. You are going to throw a bucket of water on him. So that is salt a water. ranged attack, if you please. Yeah, salt water. Salt water, yeah. Salt water bucket. Ha, huh, got you, unknowable terror. Now oh. you're wet. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Uh, still attacks that's brawn, right? Or is it a melt agility? Agility for a ranged attack. Okay. That's six plus four is ten plus because I think anyone 15. who has ever done the bucket, bucket challenge knows just how tricky it is I spark water to drop water onto a figure. Iris, you throw 15. the water. 15? 15. You sure that's your final number? Yeah. Okay. You throw water. You try and tilt the bucket down at him. As you are pouring over, however, you realize that the the, the bucket handle is particularly loose. Oh. And so the water sprays down in an area and only a section of it falls on him. The this rest splashes against the wall. 
So you can roll a d6 for me, if you please. Yeah. Take that. Four. Four points. Okay. There is a sizzle, and you can see some of those little worms fall off of him and scream and shrivel up on the stone floor itself um, as uh, your water splashes onto him. Uh, everybody nice. else is waiting for uh, something to happen. So uh, what did you get a standard success, a great success, or an standard. extra? Standard. You got a standard success on that? Yes. He's going right. to smack me. He <laughs> does indeed. Yeah. So, yeah, um, <laughs> as you as you pour this stuff onto him, he looks up at you and curses uh, you with these the parts of him as he's steaming off. And as he curses you, uh, sorry, my book is, is this a spell? Far. He is not. He's not going to do a spell. No. Um, okay. Just make sure. He's going to bite me. Yeah. Bite, yeah. He. <laughs> Um, he just reaches into your mind oh, and tries to turn it into jelly. This is uh, this is the way. <laughs> this is the way. So that would be you take half damage. So you take five points of damage. Oof, ooh, la la. As your mental capacity is is jolted, oh, he slept, literally looks so. into you and says, "Neil." Can't fly. Can't fly. <laughs> That's all he oh. says. Uh, the dark elves dance backwards, and oh. one of them steps backwards, and he says, "Now, now, do it now." I do the thing. I do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I do it now. All right. Is it a free action to do this? Um, do the thing. You're not trying to send him anywhere, so yes, it's a completely free action. You just smack the button, and instantaneously this axe immediately engages and starts spinning around in this crazy crazy speed the whole chamber floods with this blue light and any hair you have stands up on end as the power crackles around the uh, axes which are cutting literally a hole in the universe to create this portal the blades slice into the side of this uh, monstrosity you can roll for me 66 here, take my dice. <laughs> Why? Thank you. It's Beyblade. Uh, right. <laughs> yes, yes uh, Michael. Uh, your while dice. the uh, the blade is opened, Nineteen. Um, do we know how long it takes for the spin to finish its rotation? Uh, yes, it takes about. Um, it, it'll finish at the end of next round. Okay. Very well. Thank you. Uh, you say tw uh, 19? 19. 19, that is fantastic. The blades slice into him, and you just see these little white worms being sprayed out in all directions as the blades are just cutting into the, the, the worms left, right, and center. Um, little pieces of them flying out in all different directions. Um, the salt? The salt yes. on the uh, axes themselves... Uh, you can roll a uh, 2d6 for that, if you please. However, I need Iris and Sidden. Both of you need to give me a defense check using agility, if you please, because you've suddenly been hit in the face with salt moving at terminal velocity. Oh. Can we not close our eyes because we knew this is going to happen? It's more about the fact that you're being sprayed with salt, it's so your skin is being... Sandblasted Sand with yeah, salt. Like Sweet, let's give him a hug afterwards. He'll burn. <laughs> All right, yeah, hug so, the worm uh, monster. I'm not going to hug him. <laughs> uh, that is a 15, which that is a great seven. success, but I also give you a dark fake point. I'm going to use a fake point. Never I mind. Take that dark <laughs> 12. Point. You got a 12? I got a 12. All right. So, Sidden, you take one point of damage. And Iris, you take two points damage. Ooh, la la, it burns in my new wound. Uh, so you, you absorb <laughs> new five wound. of that damage. I absorb five of it? Yeah, because your leather armor that was protected and fixed. I don't think protects me against salt, does it? No, no. Protects against him. Oh, no, you did a psychic attack. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, you were technically assaulted. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I still have my main action? Uh, your main action was to teleport. Uh, was to cast the barrier. Okay. Cool. That's that's. Um, cool. So that brings us to the end of the round. So it's top of the round. So now you get another main action. Uh, I hit the button again. <laughs> <laughs> I keep hitting the button now. Uh, I'm going to um, basically uh, summon my will and assault him with my will. <laughs> I give him a good old. I'm blast. spending a dark fate point here. I'm spending a light fate point here. Well, my dark <laughs> fate point just makes it all better. Uh, okay, so I have plus because of craft. I have an extra little bit to this, a little bit of juice. Okay. Good. No, that's not great. Oh uh, yeah. You got a flush though. I did really. I got a flush or, or straight or whatever. Uh, so I only got a twenty. A twenty. Yep. You try and get in through the barriers, you realize that this isn't one mind. This is thousands of minds. And so you get in there, you probably pop about 50 of them. But there are 12,000 more that peer back at you. So that is a failure. The opponent flicks psychic damage back upon you. Oh. Um, or... Uh, you could suffer a minus two to all of your psychic attacks until you have a short rest. I'll take it. I'll take okay. it. The damage? I'll take the damage. All right. Uh, so he deals damage back to you. His psychic damage is that. So you take 13 points of damage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as those mm -hmm. thousands of mines peer back at you and just say, Neil. Yeah, Niggy falls on his butt and just kind of like gasps <gasps> as, as these like blades are still going swirling <laughs> above him. It's All right, not going well. <laughs> That's Iggy's action, Iris. Uh, so I'm going to look down at him and cast freeze. Oh. It cost me two spell points to do it as a full action. Yes. Um, I car cover the target in a thin sheet of frost. I can choose any target I see. On a success, the target is covered in ice, takes 2d6 plus craft cold damage, and suffers a negative four penalty to all physical actions due to shaking and shivering, which lasts uh, for a number of rounds as my craft. Nice. Yeah. Good spell. Okay. I know. I'm going to use a light point, point to make sure. That, yeah, and the difficulty is threat. threat. Uh, so the difficulty threat, uh, that is 22. Holy fuck, Oof. I need more. I need another Well, that's fate, why like... I spent the dark fate point you to get it up. There. I don't think you can oh, okay, that makes do multiple yeah. fates. I don't know if I can... You can only spend one this. light fate per turn. Oh, yeah. uh, per per step. Yep. Oh, but this is also plus my craft. Okay, sorry. I was just like, I don't think I can actually make it. I think I have 24 here. <laughs> plus, well, plus with three dice, you maximum you can get is 18. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just spending life. I'm just spending light fate, and I have my craft. All right, you will be hard. Please give me sixes. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. That's ten, fifteen, plus seven, Oh, I'm Four. short by one. Twenty-one. Oh no! Oh, that's, that's just not fair. Oh no! You summon your magic. You pull <gasps> it out of the weave. But as you're doing it, a voice in your head simply says. You are a failure. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, so that would be a failed magic check. Failed magic yeah, check. So Spend points. all points and lose memory of the spell. Wait, you lose Oof. memory of the spell? Oh, That's shit. What, uh, it's sp uh, spend per spell points or lose memory of the spell. So either you can't cast it again or you lose your spell points. No effect. All of them are just the two I was going to spend. I will double check. My short notes didn't. Because I I'm a caster. I need something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm you fairly can, certain it works with stick. all of them. Uh, the spell does not point. take effect, but the caster must spend spell points or lose memory of the spell. That's what it says. So you still have to spend your spell points. Yeah, I'll spend the two points. Spend your two points. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Um, Sid is going to, um, well, I'm going to basically time this so that it stops at the end of our turn, right? The blade spinning? It will spin, it will stop at the end of your turn, yeah. Okay. I'm going to use my unerring aim. Yeah. And spend a light point to select the, uh, Lord Gash as my target. Okay. Because I do so, I ignore all terrain and effects 
between me and that target, including the Whirling Dervish of Blades. Nice. And I'm going to take the 24 steaming hot salt buns that I've got and dump it into the open wound from the salt blade. You're going to try? Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm also going to burn a, a light point to give myself an extra roll on this. Wait, so how are you delivering those buns? I'm going to walk right up to him. Well, the blades you, you are running? Be, you would be cut in half. I ignore terrain. It's not exactly terrain, is it? Yeah, I wouldn't call it this is. difficult terrain. It's just oh, it's not difficult terrain. All terrain effects. Axe. I'm a ninja. You are a ninja. I would say... I mean, it's if... all... I mean, it's at the same height, right? So could I technically, like, duck down low and sneak under it? Yeah, you could crawl underneath it. The blades aren't, aren't moving around erratically in different different positions so yeah and i could use the blades to like cut open the bag as i'm like <laughs> 25 all right it's 25 feet you can crawl under and get there oh you see like sunny up on between his legs like sticky buns <laughs> he's like one bun at a time yeah. <laughs> and, and, and no, no, no. I'll, I'll look i'll look square in his one million eyes and i'll say bon appetit nice, nice. <laughs> bon appetit yeah exactly <laughs> today's the oh. day all the puns Okay, so that is uh -huh. a great success. Nice. Um, and I get another light. I get my light point back. Great. Nice. That is. What is your total? It depends. Am I using my brawn or my agility? Probably brawn. This is to put buns into a hole. Yeah. This would be agility. <laughs> oh, hole. Make sure you say that <laughs> sentence, folks. It's a good one. <laughs> uh, so that is 22. I'm a little kid. <laughs> 22, that gets you on the button. Gosh! Eat buttons! Buttonhole! Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, 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 okay. oh. And when I get a... Sorry, is this an attack action? Yes, it would be. Uh, then because because I get a light fate point as part of my attack action, I activate Blade of the New Moon, and for one round I have nine points of armor. Nice. nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. You may roll a d6 for your buns of salt that you were inserting into this creature. That is a six. That is a six. That puts it there. Okay, cool. The the creatures, the, the worms around the wound, Michael, all mm -hmm. drop to the ground, writhing and hissing and, and burning and crisping as they have done before in the past. Uh, that would leave basically only Ray to act this round. Oh, yeah. I'm coming in from behind. I'm going to try to shove him towards the axe blades. You're just going to push him... Okay. Now with the spear, but I'm going to use my brawn behind it. Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, make a melee attack. Coming up. Using a light fate point, BT dubs. Oh, yeah. Yes. Got a six on the bone, daddy die. Nice. And that put, light fate point pick. That's a four, plus a five, plus a three. Don't Math. bags of salt. Maybe you drop the lowest one. Yep. Yes. So four, five, six. Fifteen. Plus, plus six. Twenty-one. Uh, I don't think I did it then. Is that it? Twenty-one. That's it. Yes, that's that's all I got. You thrust in there. The little maggoty things seem to swarm around your spear and start pulling it in. Cool. It's covered in salt. Take it. <laughs> Roll a d six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> the little maggoty things start pushing the spear out as fast as they <laughs> no, can. No, 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 no. Thanks for doing my job for me, little guys. <laughs> they realize this, all is right. a, this is a bad situation to be in, as far as they're concerned. Uh, the god standing next to you, he says, uh, uh, "Die!" and he swings his sword at the the creature. And gives me a dark fate point by rolling a one, a one, and a four. He mm -hmm. is useless. Well, he's yeah. a guard. He is a guard. The drow don't do anything because they weren't brief to do anything during the battle, I don't think. Yeah, they told us to fight with us, but they uh, they, they chose, they said no. 
So uh, yeah. that's the I end of it. I thought they were going to guard the the exit from into the tunnels. Maybe. I thought yeah. That's what we had. We're going to have them do. They they're both going to move to those exit points, <laughs> and then just keep going. <laughs> and they Bye. keep going. Goodbye. We're guarding yeah. it for you guys. We're just going to go check down here in case there's more Ben Lords. So bye bye. Hope you win. <laughs> oh, God, there is more. We must fight them. Oh, no. <laughs> the blades slowly wind down. And as they do, Lord Gash says in that very weird voice of his, Now you will all bow before me. It's about to get! <laughs> This takes us to the top of the round. You guys get to act. What are you doing? It's fun again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap him one more time. We're gonna wait. No, uh, should I do that? Well, whoever's acting first. Well, you're uh, thinking I'm gonna stab him. Okay, you stab him. you stab him, Ray. All right, one more life fate. Ooh, that's a great success. Nice. Doesn't give you any bad things either. Better. Five, five, six plus six. I think that actually hits me at 22. Five, five, six. That's 16. Plus whatever you add. Plus six. There you go. You hit him. Although his threat is no longer 22 as he did not spend a dark fate this round. Okay. Well, I'm still proud of myself for doing it. I think you should be. You hit him. Deal your damage. Ooh, five plus five is 10. Oh, that's so cool. Does the salt give me an extra D6 uh, again, or is it just the one time? It was just the one time. It's been okay. s uh, slimed off. There is a moment where the uh, creature looks... Your spear digs in deep, and you can hear the popping sound of all of the little worms as they die. As you pull it out, you pull a whole bunch of worms away with it, and what happens is he turns into two creatures, half the size. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. As you slam do, into do, 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 <laughs> All right, Iggy, you know what to do. Uh, um, yeah. Cry. Start yeah. making no. fractions. Uh, uh, Sid, Sid, Sid's gonna jump onto the uh, into the middle where where Iggy is. <laughs> like just, oh crap! I know what this means. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, you ever seen those um, those weird magic cop things that they have at those Elven fairgrounds? Yeah, you grab what? one end, I'll grab the other. And I start pushing the button with, with Iggy. Oh. Well, I don't understand how this is per Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't understand. He didn't understand what he was talking about. And then he pressed the button and he was like, oh, I get that. Everything makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Those blades immediately start to whir around again. Uh, the uh, one creature is unfortunately standing still too close. So that's another 66 damage. Ooh. Hello. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. oh, that's so fast. 14, 16, 20, 21 damage this time. Holy smoke. Nice. You are, sp um, Iris, you have to fly up slightly because there is so much bit of little white slug-like thing spraying up and around that you're afraid of actually getting hit by the, the, the remains of these little white maggoty things. And what are you doing, by the way? I'm going to dump the water on the other one. Like, ah! <laughs> All right, give me that agility ranged attack. It still it's counts as a prank, bro. Ah. <laughs> hey, I did got a great success. Nice. Uh, 6, 10, 14. Yes. Sixteen. You sure? I'm rolling six, four, and four. Like <laughs> you're not very good with buckets. So that's I'm not, I'm not very good. With <laughs> we buckets. should have gave buckets. the buckets to Sid. <laughs> buckets are not your strength. You were aiming for seventeen, so your sixteen splashes down around. I'm going to let you roll a d6 because it's water, so it goes everywhere. Six. Nice. And never mind. It's not like fair point at this point. No. It's okay, I guess. You splash water all over it. It writhes around. It is not looking happy at all. Um, it's, Should we it's, stop and check in? Like, make sure it's having fun, like it's an okay? How do you tell it's a worm? <laughs> yeah, well, the way that, I, that, that, that you can see that it doesn't seem to be doing so well is it's no longer cohesive anymore. Bits of little, you can see little worms inching their way away from the corpse, heading in different directions. Kind of looks like a rat uh, leaving a ship. 
in desperation to get away from the central body because obviously the central body is taking so much damage. These worms are just leaving it en masse. Uh, trying to head towards you, Ray. Uh, one or two of them get to the barrier Scared. and they just can't get through. Um, uh, okay, I have a plan. Uh, I'd like to do some creative thinking here. Okay. I'd like to use my psionic uh, ability to basically slam my hand into the ground, lift all the water up and the salt together, and then explode it down, like make it rain back down all over the place. Make it rain. Make it rain. Because some of it missed. I want to like lift it with my mind, like a lot of it, and basically like place my hand against the ground and have these like droplets of salt and water go up in there and then take That's the hit. An interesting idea. It's a cool idea. Is there a spell called wind? Actually, there is one. I think Probably. I have. Uh, it was in a nature one. Uh, I, mean, uh, I couldn't do anything, but let me see here. Give me a second. As I think there is one. Uh, because I, I think you gust, can definitely... Gust of wind. Basic gust nature of spell. Wind. Uh, that doesn't sound very exciting to me. Uh, gust of wind. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to say that you can you can do that. I don't have a problem with that. Gust of wind. If you want, I can burn a life fade point for it. Yeah, let's do that. Then then that'll feel that'll feel even. Uh, am I using spell points or just using my psychic ability? Um, it would be your psychic ability, I believe. Okay. Just don't fail it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is that your fate or no? Uh, same no, thing you did when you spell. told me not to fail it. Uh, okay, so you see Iggy's eyes close. He slams his hand into the ground. All this salt and water begins to typhoon because I rolled like nearly maximum. Begins to nice. typhoon around the two worms, shredding it up. Uh, so I rolled um, 26. That'll do it. That will do it. Please tell me that you had a great success there. Though. I did. I had two fives. Fantastic. Okay, you can roll 2d6 for each of these beings. Okay, so first being noise. Three. Second being. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, the thought was cool, but the damage not so much. I got, I got three and then two. Oh. oh. Well, you know, it happens. Every it little happens. bit helps. Every little bit definitely helps. I mean, the 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 the, the one that's been cut and rained on and then sprayed on is definitely looking there's so you can see through it ray you can see through to the spinning blades it's got gaps in it and there's the worms are dropping out of it and moving all around um and uh it is not looking happy at all uh you succeeded on on that so that's fine i think that's everybody's actions for this turn Correct. I believe. All right. Um, Sidden, how many rounds do you have to take to analyze this creature? Oh, wait. Don't forget. The guard uh, hasn't gone. The guard hasn't gone. Come on, guard. Come Go on, guard. Guard. If the guard gets this, I'm going to be so happy for him. The I'm guard. I'm afraid. Yeah, the guard is going to go for the wounded one. Two, two, two. So uh, he gets success. an Great extraordinary success, success at oh, yeah, nothing. Um, <laughs> he guards the door real well. He guards that But door. he fails, and as a matter of fact, the one... Yeah, he wasn't attacking the one that attacked, so that's fine. All right, so the one that has not yet been attacked psychically glares at Sidon. No. Good day. Are you going to try and stop him? Um, uh, uh, Iggy? Because Iggy yeah. said no. Yeah. H how are you going to stop him from... With... I'm just going to intercept the psychic blast going for Iggy. Do the get down, Mr. President, psychically. I don't know how that would look. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> I'm staring. Like can that. I do that? No, it's not in the rules. Oh, is it not in the rules? Oh, I see. Okay. I yes. just said no as in don't do it. <laughs> it would be cool if you could throw your brain in front of somebody else's. You know, yeah, you just, just take stick your head in front of the beam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, except that there isn't one. So I need you, please... Uh, um, Sidden to give me a um, as a resolve defense. Oh, okay, I'm gonna burn another light point on this one. <laughs> yes, it's a resolve. Is resolve please, in? Please, please. Resolve, you just said. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I got a great success. Okay. That is 13, 14, 15, 16. Very close. Very close. 
Unfortunately, it still says in your mind, Neil. You take 10 points of psychic damage. <gasps> Ow. Ouch. Yeah. Actually, no, that's, not, that's actually not bad. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've got a headache. I might yeah, I got a headache. I've still, I've still got over half my hit points. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. good. Okay, good. That is the end of that particular round. We go into the next round. Uh, the blades will stop spinning at the end of this round. I will like to go. Oh, wait. Right away. Actually, I'd like to just give him pain. He hurt someone and he's within reach of me. Yes, he is. So that's going to be just three damage to him. Just straight up three damage? Yep. Spend a light fight point. Oh, my goodness. I have Avenger. Nice. You slice into him, causing the maggots to just crumble into little piles that move around as these worms. So you are doing well there. Doing what I do best. Hold the line away from everybody else. That, 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 well, the, the, yes, that is, that is the, the, yeah, that's true. Uh, we're in the top of the round. What are you guys doing? The uh, little worms are no longer in the range of the axes, and the big wormers are definitely avoiding those axes. I'm going to okay. blast the big worm. Uh, you're going to blast the big worm with a psychic attack? We're going to try again. I'm oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to spend point. a dark fate point at the beginning round. Fate point. <laughs> and so that puts them up. Oh, boy. So there. That one's on 18. 22. That one is on that number there that you roll. And then the last one is. Oh, wow. That was useless. You want to talk about bad rolls okay so you're attacking the big one yeah 22. that's definitely a success did you get a a a greater extraordinary success oh he's he's hitting me back oh is he hitting you back for half yeah or i'm gonna take the modifier actually probably uh or easy to take the damage that's fine too you would suffer minus one penalty to all psychic attacks that's okay i'm okay with that all right. Uh, this is really going to hurt him, though, because my craft thing I did earlier is yes. uh, is an effect. Yeah, it's going to real hurt him. Mm. Twelve. <laughs> I rolled poorly. He also looks around and goes, "Think I might lie down later." Oh, yeah. Twelve. Twelve damage. Psychic <laughs> damage. I'm mitigated. <laughs> twelve psychic damage, and you now have minus one to all of your psychic attacks until Good you luck. have a short rest again. That is Iggy's action. Sidden, Iris, Ray. Uh, right. I'll try. Uh, oh, never mind. Go ahead, Sidden. I was going to say, uh, is the body of the, uh, now that all the drow, the drow have run off, right? No, they're standing in the corner of the room, guarding the, yeah, the exit of the garden. It, is one of them the, the guy who seemed to be really upset that the woman died? Yes. Going to animate her, aren't you? There's nothing to animate. It was viscera. She was literally sliced and diced into little pieces. Yeah. Um, Remember, well, you had ability, that sonic I mean, blast. I mean, just to just to kind of ask a point, because I mean, you never can't hurt to ask, right? Yeah. My yeah. ability says um, that I can animate a dead body, and there are lots of tiny dead worms. I mean, yeah. could I animate a worm? <laughs> Single you worm. Could. Um, I mean. I mean, I mean this politely, but you know, I mean, me animating a worm and me animating a fifteen-foot-tall mountain giant is the pretty much same effect. It absorbs half the damage I take. Uh, sure. I mean, that's the ability, right? And the worm is—it it says dead body. It doesn't say dead humanoid. Dead. Nope. It says uh, specifically. <gasps> Rise. If you happen to have a dead body lying around, you can transform it into an undead shambler follower. However, you suffer one wound, and when uh, when you're done with this grisly transformation, as long right. as the shambler exists, the wound cannot be healed magically or naturally. After someone has slain or destroyed the shambler, the wound can be healed normally. Okay. You can I'll create a a maggot shambler. Yep. Um. Is there is there happen to be one like one of the dead ones like on that central thing? Maybe specifically right next to Iggy? Uh, no, they wouldn't have got that far. Damn. Okay, never mind. <laughs> there are plenty well, on the floor around you. I mean, <laughs> not on the dais, but around the, 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 the uh, dais. I'll, I'll pick one on the floor, and you watch Sid as he goes, 
rise, rise. <laughs> and this tiny little worm goes. How, how is What's up? My name's Tom. I'm a worm. How's it going? <laughs> they call me Dr. Worm. Good oh morning. Goodness. How are you? I'm Dr. Worm. I blow it up no. with my psychic mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yeah, that's my action. I'm going to use, use all of my, my powers as a ghoul to animate the heck out of a tiny little, worm. little wormy, wormy friend. Where, where are you sending your worm? Oh, I um. So sorry. Uh, so the <laughs> the worm has three. Uh, sorry, has a multitude of abilities. Oh. In particular, I get bonuses on my attack, and it has guardian, which means that when I take damage from an enemy, I can choose to deflect half of it to my worm instead of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, this little. <laughs> 50% DR. Come nice. on, Wormy. It's nice. you and me, buddy. It's just you and me. <laughs> Gets the Bane Lord. Oh, nice. Okay, that's what you have done. Um, everybody else hasn't acted yet. Uh, I will try to freeze the big one again. Uh, I'll spend another light fate to try okay. to get the spell off. <laughs> try to get it up. Give us them numbers. Hey, that's a lot better. A six, a six, and a three, and a three, 15. and a seven. Fifteen and seven is twenty. Six to six is twelve. Fifteen and seven is twenty-two. It doesn't matter what math you use. It's higher than the number that you needed, <laughs> so it's okay. And you got two sixes, so that is a great success. Your spell Girl. discharges. Finally. Yes. Uh, so it... Uh, so it is covered in ice. It takes uh -huh. 2d6 plus my craft cold damage, and it suffers a negative four penalty to all physical actions uh, for up to my craft, which is seven. So it takes 10 cold damage plus my craft, so 17 cold damage, and it suffers negative four to all physical attacks, which lasts up to seven turns. Uh... Minus four for seven turns. Yes. Okay. So all physical actions. It explodes. Oops, wrong button. In icy coldness. In icy coldness. And there are now four of them. Do okay. those two have the negative four, though? Um, well, they're both frozen, so I would say yes. Sweet. Yeah. I would say yes, absolutely. Ray or Iggy? Uh, no, Iggy, you did your mental attack that didn't go so well. Sidney has acted. Iris has acted. So, Ray, you're up. You're going to stab it? Just stabbing. Just stabbing. Make you stab. Stabby, stab. Ooh, great success. Five and a five. Nice. And a two. That is for the one that's closest to you? That's 12. That's 18, yeah. 18. Well, you stab into it. Do your damage. Oh, not great. Six. Oh, no. Uh, that is to that one. All right, you deal six points of damage to the little worm-like thing. Uh, you had a great success, so there was no retribution there, which means... I don't know how this would technically work. Uh, there is one little one that has not been engaged, and so he will look at you, Ray. Yeah, and you need over. to give me a resolve defense, please, as he tries to borrow into your mind. You hear the words, protect us. Yeah, you forget that I am dumb. I am bad at my job. <laughs> Wrong person. He's terrible. He's protected nothing since we've met him. Exactly. What is your resolve <laughs> defense? Where's the resolve? I don't have resolve on my thingy. Resolve is under uh, your craft. It's, uh, it's one of those ability scores. It's like wits and things like that. Oh, good. So the thing I'm worst at. What do I need to beat here? Uh, 18. <laughs> Yikes. Whoa, I didn't. <laughs> you did. <laughs> You'd have to roll all sixes. Yeah. I would have to roll all sixes and then somehow be blessed by a god. You take uh, 12 points of psychic damage. He takes three. He takes three. He damages me or one of my allies. Nice. Okay. He takes three. So be it, Jedi. Be it, Jedi. How much was it again? Uh, sorry. Uh, I rolled a four plus eight, so twelve. Twelve coming up. 
take care of my armor. Or no, it's psychic. Armor doesn't. The armor does not off. does not protect against it. Then. Take it off the other one. Yeah. Still good. Looking hurt, but good. Still good. All right, that is the end of the round. The blades have stopped spinning. We are in a new round of combat. What are y'all doing? I'd like to go first. Go ahead. I'm going to wombo combo this. I'm going to put a psionic blast on Sammy's weapon. All right, before you do that, I, well, okay, that dice is gone forever. Just ran away from me. <laughs> it doesn't, I'm, I'm not going to attack. Am I attacking? So Sure, that's, that's fine. Gonna... You do your thing. I'm, there. I'm just spending dark points here. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, so you get plus one attack, and then you add my craft to your weapon damage. Coming up. Uh, I'm actually going to have to, I think I have to get over there, don't I? Or is there anything I can see? Just double uh, check on that quickly. I'm just busy generating their uh, threat levels. I'd say you definitely be able to see right here. I had to open the door to get on the other side of this guy. Yeah. Doesn't say doesn't say I have to do anything. I just have to get it looks like I just have to see him. Okay. Um so cool. And then the uh, I'm gonna do a healing thing. Uh-huh. Uh, just a normal heal as a full action. So that was a free action, and this is a full action. Ah, okay. I'm burning two spell points here. That was a great success on the first one. Let's see if I don't get a great success. I'm going to burn a bunch of spell points for this, but I get a heal. I heal myself for a bit. Four points. Four just points. points. Uh, nice. Okay. That is your action. Um, Sidden, Iris, or Ray? You should be aware I have spent four Dark Fate points. Uh, for the threat <laughs> level? Yes, for all four uh, of them. Yeah, yes. right. Um, you should. You also only had know... seven guys. He's down to two. <laughs> mm. uh, no, I'm down to zero. Hey. Yep, I had eight at one point, and I've spent them and spent them and spent them and spent them. Nice. So yes. All those right, buckets. Let me what are those doing? Those buckets were emptied. Those buckets yep. were emptied, so there's just salt water all over the floor. Yeah, uh, that's correct. Yes. Okay, I'd like to use my spear like a mop. Metal's not known for its absorptive qualities of water. I'm not trying to absorb nothing. I'm trying to just shove all these maggots around in this salty oh. water. I'm going to use oh, them as the stirring head. Stirring it in and making it look like soup. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> actually, Guy gave me an idea. Hey, Ray, uh, if I would have sort of, Girl. I don't know, throw, throw a big mop in the air, uh, throw a big brag like in the air, you reckon you could thwack it and mop it up? I'm just going to use these things, but all right. All right, I'm going to get in my bag and from my eyes. It seems silly you do these strange things instead of throwing knives at things, which is what you're best at, but I'll go along with it for plot <laughs> reasons. Look, look, I don't know about you, but I can kill these worms one at a bloody time if you'd like, but we'll be here for all day. Here, use this. What do you I think know. I'm doing? <laughs> That's a the bigger knife than I have. Right? Yeah, a spear is just a large knife. Look, do you want the freaking rag or not? All right? I don't Jeez. know. I don't know why we're talking to her in there. Just kill it. Just kill it. <laughs> <laughs> just throw, just throw it Everybody's so mad. I think I'm the only one who doesn't have a huge problem with today. I'm feeling all right. We're doing well. I mean, I'm proud of all of you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna throw um, just like this, like this, this, this rag that I that I keep for like you know, you know, just cooking stuff. Okay. Uh, and this dish rag. Huh. Sure, you and throw a dish rag. You don't have to make a roll for it. it. It lands near Ray, who could spear it and use it as a mop, and then use it as a bludgeoning weapon on a on one of these creatures. Sure, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, it's it's a great yeah, idea. Right, salty weapon my... of doom. Salty weapon of doom. Make your attack there, Ray. You have a plus <laughs> one. You have a plus one. You have a okay, plus one. I'm using, Just I'm using a fate point. Anyway. Don't roll them ones. I won't. I rolled a one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the bone dice, though. Damn. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Instead, I have a five, a five, and a six. A five, a five, and a six, yeah? That's a 16. That's a 16 plus six is 22. Great success. Plus one, 23. Plus one, 23. Nice. You hit. <coughs> you hit the creature. And you may do your you spear add damage. You plus nine to your damage. Okay. <laughs> Mop damage. <laughs> From you can do your spear mom. damage. You oh, can that's do a your... six plus six. That or a six plus five. Sorry, six plus, plus nine. five plus nine. It's twenty. So, okay, 20. and then you can roll another d six on top of that for the mop. I'm gonna roll a special bone dice. See what it gives me. One. <laughs> that one's the one. So you don't get a dark fate point, but twenty one points 21. of damage. You yeah. 
sideswipe this creature with your mop spear and just splat it all over the wall and the floor it it just dies the few little remaining ones writhe around in the salt water mix that you poured all over the floor and just there is there is just dead and death happening everywhere as a result of your mop attack great luck yeah get wrecked noob all right i'm gonna, go, I'm gonna run in iris um you're gonna run in you say yeah i'm gonna yeah. hold basically like near the bucket oh. so i can keep kind of moving okay. down the line um is he standing in the water is who's standing in the water ray i probably yeah ray is yeah yeah i'm doing janitor stuff are you looking good though I mean, you know, I'm a handsome guy. I, I work out a little bit. It's okay. not something I'm super uh, interested in. So she's going to put her hands, her tips of her fingers I'm... in the water and cast lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. See if I can, can... It you will absolutely you kill me by doing this. I hope you know that. <laughs> it's only 1d6. It's only 1d6 plus, plus 10. Prof. It's fine. Plus yeah. oh, <laughs> All right. Cast your yeah. spell. I mean, the you said you look good. Too late. You I, st it. I talked about my ability to look attractive. Whoosh, I did not say bolt of yeah. lightning yeah. just arcs across. Michael, what happens when your little minion dies horribly by electrocution? Hey. Oh, yeah, um, right. You're it, a little it, guy. Eight it, plus it just the crafts. And, uh, and I get uh, I get my hit point back. Oh, that's okay. right. I, I, don't, I can heal my hit point if I want to. Okay. The 15. To you cast a spell? Yeah. To cast a spell. What is the difficulty of casting that spell? It um, is. Threat. I think it was a twelve. Yeah. Well, you're not yeah. casting it at them, oh, so it's at their athletics or agility. It's a defense check. Oh, never mind. No, Sorry, that's when you're defense. defending against it. Uh, and does it just say the difficulty it's is threat. a threat? It's threat. Well, a twelve, I'm afraid, doesn't beat anything's threat at all. So that is a failure. I said fifteen. Yeah, it, it beats my tiny worms. worms. Uh, 15, just kidding. Six oh season killing Michael's work. <laughs> 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 that abomination cannot be suffered to live. Um, <laughs> yes, unfortunately, you lose those spell points. It was a great idea. I would have dealt damage to all of them, except that you didn't take into account that the salt in the water makes the conductivity of the water significantly mm -hmm. different. And I'm going to just leave it at that because I can't remember if it makes it more or less. I think it makes it less. I think it makes it more conductive. Well, hang on. I'm going to look it up. Conductive. Salt and water. You, you, you look it, it up. I'll move on to the next player. But yes. What? I, 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 know this. I, I rolled an extraordinary thing. success. I got trip fives. I was really proud of my roll, though. It's like, he might not die. Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> the, 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 the energy didn't even get to you. All right. So that is Iris's oh, action. Ray's I action has happened. Sidden, you threw a rag. I'll say that that's your movement. You can do something else if you like. Oh I'm, no! It is. I'm, it is more conductive. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, we're gonna. gonna cool. All right. Avenger fallen brethren. Yeah. You raise another one. Yeah. <laughs> There what are, are you so doing? Many just of them. I, I put so much power into your knife to stab a guy. Just one time, just for me. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, that's right. Uh, I'll throw Wait, my knife instead of doing that. <laughs> Thank I'll come you. Back for you. I'll come back for you, Wormy. Too. Make make uh, sure you mop up a rag first, then put it on the knife. You gotta like make a thing out of it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. There's probably put some salt put a still up here for when you when you applied it right, like up in the middle bit. Just you know. So I'll uh I'll and then dip it in some of the salt. Okay. Hurl the dagger. Okay, give me a ranged attack. All right, now I have focus now, on this. I have a I'm real actually... question for you. Which one are you throwing it at? The, the one, one furthest from Ray. The one furthest from Ray. Okay, I'll make, make cool your attack. Yeah, yeah, I'll start that. Um, no, I don't want to burn a light point. I'll just, I'll give this a crack. Ooh. You are good. This is an ama uh, whatever the amazing success is, like three things. Yeah. What did you roll? So that's 15. That's three fives. Okay, great. Plus two for my blades. That's 17. Plus four for my agility. That's 21. Plus 21. Plus? And plus one from, plus one plus from, one from Iggy. Total 22. Total 22. I kid you not. The total you were aiming for was 23. Mm. Oh, dang. You missed Just it by one. 
Go but on. that's okay. On. Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me... No. Come on. Assassin, you have to have something. Be good at killing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, sadly, Actually... you, th you should have used your light point. No, but then you oh, wouldn't no, have wouldn't had I, an extraordinary I... success. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't mean, I mean, the, the only difference would be is I need, I'd need to have rolled one uh, A6 on that last one. Yeah. Which I did not. Yeah. 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 Uh, look, this one, his particular threat when I rolled for it, he rolled a six. So he had plus six to his base threat. So uh, it was, it was going to be difficult to hit him anyway. Uh, Your blade right, Iggy, bounces against the wall. And... Uh, Iggy, I, I threw your magic knife. Yeah, you missed. <laughs> I, went, I, just, oh. I, went, I like it. The problem was Iggy's it went straight through the bugger. Uh, yeah, the bugger psychically attacks you back, Michael. No, oh, please don't. Uh, with my face. Oh my god, maximum damage. 14 back to you. Oh, oh wait, but didn't he have a little I'm... worm? No, he didn't because he threw his knife instead. Oh. Are you awake? I, I am now unconscious. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> Okay. okay, that was Sid's Everybody's action. I think one. that's everybody who has acted in this round, except now for my little worms. This one is the going guard. to launch himself. Guard. Oh, yeah, guard. Guard. Oh, guard, yeah, guard. Guard, attack the one that hasn't attacked. Guard. Yeah, there's, on, guard. There's, there's two Double that haven't attacked, one. sadly. Well, one has a, so, one Ray attacked and one Sid attacked, right? So no, Ray both, killed yeah. the one he attacked. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. two that haven't been attacked. I'm gonna call, so, God I'm is going to attack. Gaudi McGodface is going to attack the one closest to Ray. I'm gonna I, hand him, I'm gonna I will hand him be the valuable. <laughs> he him the rag ceremoniously. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'll so Gaudi did pretty well. He rolled a 16. Plus, he has to his uh, strength, uh, not strength. Uh, brawn, brawn, right? Yeah, uh, his brawn is four, so that puts him on a 20. He needed a 21 to connect, so he failed, unfortunately. Uh, it's only for this round. Next round, I've got actually, nothing I, left. Good. I am still caught I again. forgot I have uh, no, just No, Psychic doesn't defend armor. Never mind. No. The middle one launches itself. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And Iggy, it opens its mind to you. You need to give me a resolve defense, please. I'm good at this, actually. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Blow them yeah, up this one inside. does have the lowest threat of the oh, three. Oh, baby. <laughs> I get a spell point back. Get out of my mind. Uh, 22. 22 is just sufficient. You don't get taken out by this worm. But I got a great success. Some... Do I, like, hit it back? Uh, on a defense? No. Okay. No, I don't think so. You do get your light pay point back. I do get a light pay point. And yeah, I get a spell. Good. Nice. Very nice. what I needed for Sid. That brings us to the end of the round. That means that we're in a new round. Sid yeah. is down. Uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use greater heal to bring Sid back with my new spell point. Fancy, fancy. Look at you. Okay, so Sid is uh, Sid. You now have a wound. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, you have minus two to all actions whilst the wound remains. Yeah. Yeah. Let Let me see because this is this is a fancy heal. Oh, it's a fancy one. It's a fancy heal. All right. Uh, I like the fancy heal. The fancy heal. Um, so I you prefer get, flats myself. You you get thirteen hit points back. No, you don't. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> thirteen hit points back. Uh, but does it cure the wound? Does not cure the wounds. When all right. He's so you still have minus two to all of your uh, to everything, Michael. Minus two to everything. It just says everything. Roger, Roger. Well, it gives Wait, you hit points, but it doesn't cure wounds. Yeah. It, do, it it does when he's conscious. But since ah. it's unconscious, it can't cure wounds, unfortunately. Gotcha. You can gotcha. Know. And can you wake someone up before you heal them? Like, just like, hey, hey, my, hey, hey. I, 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 I touch your chest and I say, we still need you. And I just like, a, like electrical charge into your body. <laughs> Player! <laughs> Why wouldn't you let me die? That's, uh, that's Iggy's <laughs> turn. Um, so didn't it doesn't say anything about coming back and not being able to act so you can act this turn but you're lying down so your movement would be to stand up i guess is that a is that a worm next to me it is a giant one next to you well but not giant i mean it's standing five foot tall 
Can I like? Oh, that's really tall. That's <laughs> For tall. a worm right, gonna... collection of worms, it's pretty tall. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I, I'm going to uh, go against my go go with what I was originally going to do. Go with my better judgment. Wormy, come to me, tiny creature of of not letting me die. Uh, and I'm going to animate a tiny worm. How many wounds have you suffered from animating things? Are uh, you going to take an, uh, you take a wound when you do Dude. that, right? Yeah. So you're on I, minus I, yeah, I... four to all actions. Wait, no, no, no. It's not a wound. It's a hit point. Are you sure it's not a wound? I'm pretty sure it's a hit point. Okay. If it's a health yeah. point, that's fine. Yeah, it's a health point. It's a health point. Okay. No, it's a wound. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Oh my god. That'd be real bad. That well, now you'd be if you want to raise the little little fella again, it's gonna be minus oh, two. Oh, maybe not. Minus four. Sorry, little dude. I'm gonna leave you behind. He's uh, up maybe. and down, up and down. He is he is just yeah, not I'm having staying. a good afterlife. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go keep it nice and simple. I'm gonna pull out my big cleaving meat chopper. The, nice. Yes. Very excited. I'm gonna chop you. I'm gonna use a light point. Because I'm in pain. No! Oh! I give you a dark point. Yes. But. I will take your dark point. Uh, that is a 20. 20 is definitely a hit. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, and a great success, if that matters. It does. It means you don't get hit back. And then I get, does he consider me an ally, or does he consider me, do I surprise him by being dead and then being like, ha ha? No, because he saw the magic going off with it. He's shouting clear and, and, and. Dang it. <laughs> we weren't subtle. All right, that is, <laughs> that is five points of damage. Five points damage. Okay, yes. that is into this one. So that puts him on that. He is not looking happy. Yep. He is I mean, looking it is. as a collection of worms. Uh, Iris Array. You know what I'm going to do. Iris, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to float over to the one that's furthest from Ray. And I'm just going to, <laughs> like, my wings start flapping really, really fast. I grab it by the skull and just scream, and lightning just, just charges from my hands through it. She's so mad. <laughs> nice. Nice. Give me your magic check. It's not uh, too difficult this time. No! And yet, sounds like it might be insurmountable. Fuck. I'm going to... Do I have more light fate points? I do. I'm burning one. Okay. Damn you, crackers! <laughs> Damn you, crackers. <laughs> <laughs> the angriest Canadian I've ever seen. This is great. Yeah. Besides, yeah. like, Wolverine. 15. 15. Oh, was it my goodness. Crackers just strikes you back. I was rolling, and it hit this, and it stopped on a two, and I'm angry. <laughs> you are angry, and you've just taken 11 points of psychic damage. Whoa. Are you still up? Uh, I don't know. Actually, give me a second. Where am I? <gasps> nope. I have a nap. It was exactly at 11. Oh, no. I have a nap on the floor. She's so angry. <laughs> My gosh. It's like I'm a medic this game. <laughs> Player. Player. All right, Ray, you got this. All right. I'm going to look at the guard. Take the rag back angrily. You have dishonored the rag. Uh, <laughs> he just hangs his head in shame. I still you believe in you, though. Do. You can still do what you do. All right. You do not get a light fate point. And I got a great success. Hello, two fours. Nice. I think that's going to be a total of... Let's see. Is that psychic thing still active? No. It's only one Psionic? shot. Okay. It's, but what a shot, though. <laughs> yeah. Eight plus two is... Ten. Sixteen total. Just, Doesn't make it. Just one more? I think this episode is going to be called Just One More because... I, I can, I'll burn a light. I'll burn another light fate point. I don't have that many left. Missed it by that much. Did you Let's Did see. you get the one more? Um, I got the two more. I got 18. Nice. Hey. That is a hit. Boom. You didn't have crackers. <laughs> didn't no, have... I don't have crackers during a game. 
That is true. Deal your damage. But did you get a great success? Did you get doubles anywhere? I did. I got the two fours. Nice. That's it. That's uh, ten total. Ten in total. That is to number three. And that is over here. He is still standing, but he is not still standing. He dies. Hey! hey. Okay, then full movement to get in front of Iris. Rawr. I actually can't save her. That's okay. That's. I'm going to be working on that. Okay, that is everybody who has acted and every creature has reacted. No, they have not reacted. The guard, the, one... the, guard, the guard. He can oh, go yeah, the guard. Hit Follow the, hit me. Yeah, <laughs> the, the guard comes running up. He's like, I will be better even though I haven't eaten any food for three weeks. But sure, I'll be <laughs> better. We gave him heart attack. No, we gave him heart attack. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12 plus is 4 is 16. Missed it by 1. Uh, the <laughs> one on the podium Has, was attacked by Sid. Does it do damage Sid to him? It. That's right. So, uh, so, so it actually does. No, it doesn't because. Oh, no, it didn't do damage to you. And it did do damage to Iris. So that's fine. It has acted. Right, can, can I ask yeah. a quick question? This yeah. is just me wrapping my head around the rules. Wasn't it the case that if they didn't get to smack someone during a reactionary phase, that they get an action? Not every single time. I, I thought it that. was if they get attacked and you, if they, if they get attacked, that's it. They're out in terms of being able to attack them independently afterwards. Yep. That's what yeah. I understood it as. Yeah. Okay. 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 So yep. as long as, as long as someone has attacked them that round, then that's okay. Cause they had the chance of hitting back, even though they didn't necessarily succeed. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Yep. So that takes us to the top of the round and Iris uh, even heroes die. When you reach zero life, your character is unconscious and on the verge of death. Each round after this happens, you must make a death test to see if your character is still alive. The difficulty is... I'm going to keep it a surprise. Well, Mitch knows what it is because Mitch knows the rules. Mitch is smart. Be like Mitch. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm going to keep that number secret for now. You need to use either metal or resolve, whichever is higher. Resolve. Resolve. Uh, yeah, you may be okay. On 3D sticks, statistically, Kai has a chance of succeeding. There you go. <laughs> 17. You are not voted off the island. You are okay. You do not die. Uh, uh, However, I like to go next. Next round, you will suffer a minus one to your next roll to check to see if you live or die. Okay, cool. Um, can you use Light Fate to, to get a spell point? Is that a thing? I don't even know. Uh, light fate, add 1d6 before roll, reroll one die after roll, increase standard success, activate one of your special abilities, activate item special quality, ignore one death test. Uh, no, you cannot get a spell point back. Does anybody know medicine? Because I don't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Well, you know, I know a type of medicine. It's but killing she'd somebody? need to be proper dead first. <laughs> yeah, okay, she'd need yeah. to be proper dead. Do you know how angry Iris would be if you resurrected her as one of your ghouls? Oh, God. Probably so she's unable to <laughs> tell us about it, so... But, you know, it would have just been a case of me missing it by one. Like. Oh, yeah. yeah All right. She, she felt... there's, no op there's no op attacks, right? There's okay. no attacks opportunity, no. I'm going to move over to Iris. And I'm going to burn a light point. Oh, my last no. one. Yep. And I'm going to try a medicine check. A uh, heal check? Sure. Heal check. Insight. Well, Can I did. help? Can I do anything to help this? <laughs> well, God doesn't it? love me. You get a dark fate? <laughs> ah. she's, just, she's just dead. Like, I can't. I don't Holy. understand. I rolled real. Like, Iggy was not motivated. The gods of this her. world is like, she needs to go. She's lived too long. <laughs> oh, jeez, the wheezies. <laughs> Um, I don't have much life. I can't. I don't know what to do here. I burned my light to do it. So, okay, all right. Um, I don't think like I don't think like in a D and D when you survive a certain amount, you get to come back. I don't think that. I don't this. think that exists. Uh, no, I, I just me trying to, to survive while so, you guys try to bring so me back. So total. I'll give you the total because I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, no, it, it, no, no, it might very well. It might very well. What is, is your it, title? Is it insight or is it wits? Please say wits. It's insight. Son of a gun guy, one time. All right. <laughs> uh, 
six. It's a good success. <laughs> it's a good, great, great success. Do you understand that you could do a heal insight test and you would stabilize her? That's the one I wanted. To yeah, use. and that's the one that you missed by a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm, I'm optimized for one thing, and that's yeah, blasting. Apparently. All right, that's blasting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is Iggy's action. Sidon or Ray? Go ahead, uh, Ray. Okay, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna get Iris out of there. I'm gonna pick her up and run with her. You really want to do that? You, you okay? Sure. I'll just die. <laughs> you pick her up and you're running with her. Where are you running to? I'm just moving her away from that thing. I'm having the like tell the guard to attack it so it goes after him, and then just move Iris out of the way of this thing. All right, you are yeah. uh, running with Iris. Absolutely, could be another great title, running with Iris. Okay, uh, if, Sid if if that's not my whole Sid turn, I can happily make a medicine check on her or a heal check. Oh, go ahead, make a heal check, sure. Okay, I'm not proficient. This is going to be a straight roll. I don't think any of us are. Use a light. It's uh, insight. What am I trying to beat? Uh, more five. than six. More than six? Oh, yeah. yeah. By a lot. Uh, did you That's beat easy. it by an, a, a double that amount? Uh, just under double. Ten. That that it, that is definitely a lot, but it is not a lot enough. Okay, if that makes sense. No, nope, so yes, but I agree with it. The target number you're looking for is fourteen. I'll stop being an asshole now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. fourteen that's is the number you're looking for. Yeah. Good. So that's uh, that is Iris. Uh, that is uh, Sid. You're the only one who's left who has not acted. All right. Sid Aside looks to Lord Lord Gash and says, "Wait." Listen, hear me out. All right, if you promise to let me go, I'll push this button and rip all these bastards to shreds. I am far too injured, and I have no interest in a any of these ghoul-hating bastards. And I could care less about what you're doing here than I do about the drows that have been chopped to tiny little bits of kebab. That's what you're saying to Lord Gash? I am. The tiny collection of angry worms. Deal. Right. I'm going to put my hand, and I'm going to get ready to slam it on the uh, the button. Uh-huh. And then I go, treachery, and I stab him in the neck. Because that's <laughs> okay. the only way I can actually use this goddamn ability, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> so because, I've, because uh, in this social interaction... Uh, he does not consider. Oh well, he he may consider me friendly. Maybe he considers um, you more of a worm than he is. Good. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> I get a plus two additional damage per level to my attack. Okay. So, yeah, and I'm gonna burn up my last light fate point on right on are. this roll. <sighs> well, maybe Sid doesn't have the hit points for this. I get a negative two. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Hold on, let me see. Um, so that is 16, 20, 20? 20 I can't hits. change the... 20 oh, hits. Thank God. I was going to say, I can't change the Kismet dice, can I? No, you can't. Yeah, I didn't think so. 20 okay. hits. Uh, oh, all right. Was it so a... That is... Yeah? Sorry. Was it a so good success? A great uh, success? It is a... Uh, it is a uh, standard success. Standard success. All right, you take half back. Yeah. Do your okay. damage. That is 12 damage. Oh, it dies horribly. It, it <laughs> literally thought it had victory, and then you mauled it to death. But in your, in your stabbing, it deals you 10 points of psychic damage back. You're still up. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> 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 I spit out some like blood from my face. <laughs> uh, oh, God, like they said, You'll God be is they gonna said. try and do this thing. Come on, ah! You got this, girl. Yeah, yeah, one, two, and a four. Uh, so that's a seven. He does nothing. Instead, he takes psychic damage back. Oh, he takes cool. max damage. His head explodes. God dies. Oh Bam. no. <laughs> He literally just explodes on the spot. 
New round, Iris. I don't get to spend light fates, do I? You can spend a light fate to immediately pass. Uh, you can sp- no, you can spend a light fate to yes to ignore. Well, I would have done that last turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you already passed last turn. So uh, no, no, you ignore the death threat. You don't pass. You just ignore it. So you could ignore it for this round. But then sure, I'll use a light fate round. to ignore it for this round. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just try to. I gotta. I gotta finish this thing uh, because my insight's not high enough. So I'm gonna use my last thingy here. Oh no, I already use it. Okay, we're just going in. I'm spending a dark fate point. Of course you are. <laughs> And the dice do love you guys, by the way. Good. Ray sees the guard explode. It just does one of those like slow anime turns. Yes. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> 22, 22. Oh, that's a hit. Uh, Great he success. Hits back. He hits me back. I rolled two fours. No, I didn't. 10 points of damage back. I'm still alive. That's good to hear. Um, so Iggy, seeing Iris go down, he screams like, and his, and his eyes erupt with the psychic power and also all the blood vessels blow in his eyes when he does this. He's at one hit point. That's unfortunate. Uh, but he uh, he did, he he slaps this boy. Nice. Uh, 16, points, 16 points of damage. Or oh, sorry, excuse me, 18 points of damage. <laughs> it is like how I imagine the 4th of July would look with maggots exploding out in all different directions and uh, pasting up against that wall as the vestigial power that has burned into your mind, you hear the screaming sound, and then all is silent. Yeah, that cool. Was... Doing a heel check on Iris again. All right, Ray, you got this. Oh, my God, do I ever. I get a light fate point back. I got great success, and that's a 16. Hey, 16, Iris. <laughs> You breathe a breath of air as your brain is restarted with the desperate look of Ray in your face. You are on one hit point. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> the look on your face is perfect. <laughs> we did it. We did. I'm looking around to see if there's any more bugs. Like, Not uh... good. They're all dead. Let's get you out of this water. Come on. I'm not going to princess carry Iris. All right. Aww. My little wings are like drooping. <laughs> yeah, My wings are yeah. like drooping, and I'm just I'll, I'll, so I'll kind of go around and like just pick everyone up in Princess Carry everyone back to the secret room. <laughs> um, as you're starting to pick up people, the drow are stepping forward. Is that truly the death of the Bane Lord? Probably. Get out of my way. Uh, I'm gonna do a brain check. Can do a wits check to see like if. Uh, this guy can multiply. I'm assuming he, he might have another here. A uh, law check? Sure, give me a law check. If okay. that dude tries to block my path, I'm hitting him with Iris. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> he, is, he is not trying to block your path. He is not trying to block your Light path. Light fate. Uh-oh. Have we lost Michael? <laughs> I don't know, but he stopped in a great place. You paused him. We, we didn't hear you there, bud. You're muted. Yeah, yep, sorry. I'm good. All right. That was, that was me. I was funny. I hadn't gone anywhere. Okay, good. Uh, Twenty. You suspect that this is the main the main body. Uh, th- th- you have destroyed the Bane Lord. You suspect this is actually what was Lord Gash, and the 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 tub of worms that you don't know anything about. Um, were probably his offspring. So as far as you think there aren't any more gashes anywhere it looked as if he could only split when he was taking huge amounts of damage and the bot the worms were voluntarily leaving into different groups okay yeah uh <laughs> while everyone's uh healing and the like uh I'm, sid's gonna like roll up his sleeve and he's gonna be like all right i'm tired as hell but we've got work to do come on you boys can help me and i'll point at the drow and I won't hear a word of it. Otherwise, we'll take you out like we took out that Bane Lord. And then what I'll laugh and him on the shoulder. <laughs> I gotta go make some biscuits! And uh, I'm gonna start trying to produce as many salt biscuits to hand out to the people as humanly possible. Um, starting with the guards, then literally everyone that we can. 
Yeah, once I know Iris is like okay and able to be left, I'll leave Iggy with Iris because now Iggy's awake and won't leave again. He wouldn't do it twice. I was in the yeah, other right. room. It's, it's not like the, the queen is going to show up and be like, hey, Iggy, come with me right now. That's fine. And then Don't abandon her. I'm going to go do Can I restore some spell points, please? Sure, you're going to take a short rest? rest? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That's a good point. Maybe we should all just do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we should all have a short rest. Let's all have a short rest. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the people that could ambush us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna cook. That's. Can I consider that my short rest? Like I like cooking. You like. It's cooking? therapeutic. I'll believe you. So many people have told me that they find it therapeutic. I find it, it a massive experience, which taxes me mentally, emotionally, and socially. But sure, let's go with your Excellent. interpretation of cooking. Um, <laughs> the walking through the castle is bizarre because there are guards just walking into walls and <laughs> and sort of bumping into the wall and stepping a few steps back and then walking forward and bumping there are others just sitting on the ground looking at their hands um of the few that you you do find uh when you get to the kitchen you've come back have you yeah uh, uh We've taken care of business and covered in some, some bug guts, but that's all right. Nothing new there. We need to feed the entire town as much salt as we can. You've come back, have you? Oh, God. Uh, does she seem like she's a bit vacant? Yeah. How? No, I just... got rid of the worm in her. It might have really did. Her. <laughs> did she eat another one? She did. <laughs> I feel like I just... I, just, I, 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 uh, I, I put her over on the... Uh, on on the kitchen bench and i'm gonna start moving her hands like with a rolling pin and then i'm just gonna use her like as an automated rolling pin oh, <laughs> oh no just, 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 all right, just stay Some here ghost like. stuff going on here <laughs> yeah. Oh, <my. laughs> oh yeah exactly all right you are busy um cooking up a batch of biscuits the three of you get rest uh once you are rested what are you doing i heal iris for 12 nice and, and your I wound heal. is removed uh yeah uh and i heal uh ray for uh three nice cool. uh, and i'll take it if Up i find 13. sid i'll heal him well that's the end of that but uh i heal him for six six nice you get and six hit points back there, Sid. Uh, spell points again. Ooh. I'm assuming you're all wandering through the castle, which yeah. is which is absolutely fine. You come across well, the I'm, same bizarre actions. Uh, y yes, Ray. Um, if if anyone is gonna maybe try to stop me, I'm gonna go find Orianne. He is. He needs to find her. I let her know that uh, I sent Holly to get her out of the city. Yeah, I know. They probably didn't go super far. Uh, I'm going to start collecting like uh, snow, melting the snow, and then putting salt in it and to make salt water and start going sure. around and giving it to the guards as well so that we can try to get as many cleared out as possible. I um, I say to Ray, I'm like, listen, I, I know she's really important to you, like the most important person ever, but our job isn't done yet. These people need us. Yeah, she'll, she'll be, be able, able to help us. I know that, but if you leave More now, hands. let's get the let's at least get the Lord up and running. And then, and then do whatever you got to do. Get the crazy supply. old man is sitting on the chair talking to himself. I don't think the worm did much to him. Well, let's find out. Then I'm going to go up to, if I am allowed, I'm going to go up to the Lord. No one's stopping you at all. He looks at you. Time to get out. Definitely. Definitely time to get out. 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 Out, I say. Uh, Bree's just doing eat? like the background character walk by. Told you. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to let him eat a biscuit <laughs> and see what happens. Oh, he gums down on a biscuit. He kind of chews for a moment. His eyes clear up a little bit. He looks up at you. Dolly, is that you? Have you come back to me? How are the breach walls doing? How are the defenses? Where are my reports? What are you still doing here? Go and fetch my reports, you damn page. Um, does, do I get the indication that he, that, uh, he obviously didn't puke a worm up, so he just, he's, just, he's just insane. Cool. So I'm going to go find that captain of the guard. That's my next action. Thing. All right. You go running around. <laughs> and I look at Ray place. with like a, okay, well, yeah, right. You were right. Fine. Whatever. I'll help you find a captain and then we're going to get over again. All right. I don't think the captain died. So 
so during this period of time i am i'm am mass distributing just biscuits yes. with the gods and with the drow as as far and wide as i can right. um I'm do the same with jugs of water nice it takes you the better half of about five hours to uh, get your biscuits baked and dispatched to get the water out to get it are you just doing the gods or are you doing the townsfolk as well i'll start with the gods and then enlist the gods to do the townsfolk help with the townsfolk all right that's what i'm going to help with if i can get to orion yes. in that time period and bring her back we'll start organizing you, the people from our end you find orion after about an hour and a half as you had to go out of the main city uh out about a mile or so before you found her sitting on the side of the road with uh, kai's pixie uh with holly is that right holly yeah she runs into your arms, obviously with delight. Yeah, it's one of those like, oh, okay, all right. Don't know how to react to that one. You're okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. How are you doing? You all right? You look wounded. Yeah, I got hit a lot. Is everything all right? Is it all sorted now? Yeah, we're doing good. It's fine. Okay, we can go back to the city now? Yeah, we got to go back. We got to help uh, the people all had wounds in the bodies. And so we got to help them get those out. Well, I know if we put some honey and a little bit of stinging nettle together, we can brew up something. That'll help with worms. Clear them out straight away. Yeah, this one's magical. We got to use salt water. But I like this honey idea. You tell me more on the way. You and Orian walk back to the uh, breach, uh, discussing the benefits of the... Uh, purgative of stinging nettles and honey and when you arrive back you start in the efforts to restore the city to some form of intelligence the captain of the guard looks um, very sheepish at you after having thrown up all over his armor uh, I remember a nightmare and that is how I would describe it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. But uh, listen, the, the, this, things have gotten complicated and you're going to have to follow my directions exactly. How would Ray put it? You, you're you're going to be a hero to these people, right? Yeah, absolutely. You are uh, the heroes. You have restored us, and not the other way around. That's, actually, yes. that's the way I would say that. <laughs> yeah, but like you're the hero for keeping peace and order and making sure these people are fed. We found a bunch of hard tack down at the bottom. We need to like distribute this. I think my companion sitting is already all over it. Yeah, I will set up a detail to start distributing the food. Make sure everyone eats something, and uh, it's it's mandatory. Uh, just because you know I feel they like don't. I've done this before. Yeah, you you have, but this is the the way to cure the problem that you did before. All over the town, there is remorse. Do you feed a cookie eventually to the uh, chef? Oh, she'll yeah, she'll get one last. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, I mean, in flour she's, she's and she's so, so useful. Yeah, that's true. Eventually, everything starts to settle down. The sun has already gone down. There are fires that have been set up in the keep itself. All of the residents of the, the uh, breach have been invited into the keep for warmth, uh, for food stocks to be distributed. There was some cold meats that were being held in the, the deepest cellars that have been brought out uh, to be distributed as well, um, as best as, as possible. Uh, or reboiled, I should say, because they were all dried. And uh, there is an, a general air of absolute depression and loss because everyone is taking stock of where are their loved ones and what happened and how much time has passed and just general frustration and confusion. The captain of the guard, once he has finished with his primary duties, turns to the four of you once again. What are we to do? Um, probably rebuild and uh, restock. You need to replace your lord. That He's will be a matter well. for the Citadel to decide, I'm sure. But if we are attacked now, the breach will not hold. That is true. 
we have some options here to be sent for reinforcements the, not too long ago, but you're still weeks away from reprieve. We do have a contact that we can call up and see if that's nearby. He's only a few days away with a large contingent. Um, maybe that will help. I would greatly, greatly appreciate any help possible. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, we'll, I guess we'll get on that. Is there anything else you guys think we should do? Yeah, one last thing. I hope you understand that uh, being part of the organization that we belong to, there's a certain amount of, um, I guess, anonymity that uh, needs to be expressed between us and the people we help. We were never here. So you need to pick yourself a fine, upstanding citizen, someone who's a decorated and uh, worthwhile individual, member of the community and sort, to lead everyone to salvation and all that other mumbo jumbo. You seem like good sort. You want me to take to take credit for re relieving the breach of this burden? Yep. I don't Remember, see how that would be fair. You're the hero. Wink. Ray's over with some scrap guy. That's Ray Poten. <laughs> that. Is what? there actually a rule that says the Tamsarai, because everyone knows the Tamsarai can't take credit to killing Bane Lords? You mean the the big secret organization that we that we belong to? I thought to? we weren't a big secret organization. I thought, I thought that we the, were. No, I thought we've that met so everyone far knows of exactly us. Exactly who the Tamsarai is. Everyone right. knows who we are, and they have to if we call that there's a Bane Lord in there, they have to let us in. We're not secret. True, yeah. but then, well, Sidon will explain. He'll say, "All right, let me paint a picture for you. If we did say that the Tamsarai were here and that there was indeed a Bane Lord being influenced here." What do you think would happen to trade and commerce in the area if they knew that this place was under the influence of mind-controlling Bane Lords? There's a lot of repercussions here, and there's, I'm fairly sure, a reason why they don't go around advertising, they hire serial killers and the like to do this kind of work. Trust me when I say this, it's better if people know that we're not here so that the people can get on and back to the lives that they had before we showed up. What well, is I mean, a, a little bit killer. earlier than that, obviously, but, you know. My concern with that thought, though, is that we would then have no ability of saying oh, we fought a Bane Lord, we've taken care of Bane Lords, so people could trust us more at this point. Especially well, when say, we think a Bane Lord. But especially when we know a Bane Lord might also be involved with the drow and mm -hmm. them looking for artifacts coming up and attacking towns, they might take it out personally on the drow and not the Bane Lord at this point. I'm with Iris on this one. I do think we shouldn't be too quiet about what happened. This Get people back victory. into town. Yeah. It's not. No, look, that... I'm not the boss here. Okay, I just I'm just saying what I've been told. I'm just saying that uh, you know being part of a clandestine thing means being clandestine about it. Yeah. But call me old fashioned. I mean, you you guys can take credit if you want. I I don't want any. It's not that I want glory. I want people to feel safe. So that there's a Bane kidding? Lord around, they know that someone has defeated them. Yeah, it's stopped plans before. Whatever you think. I, I I don't really mind either way. I I just want to. I say leave our names out of it, but let them know the Tamsarai have been here and have done their job. We don't need to take it personally unless Ray would like to. Yeah, Ray, if you want to go ahead and take the... It's P-O-T-E-N. You let us well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Everything's good. Honestly, honestly, I don't care which way. I'm not getting paid for it. So, you know, I've said my piece, and if uh, if the commander comes after me head, I'm going to, you know, I don't know, Wait, throw, throw whoever's paid. name's attached to it <laughs> straight under that bus. Wait, we're not getting paid. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I, I'm Are we go... getting paid for this? I thought we were getting paid for this. Getting paid for this? Yeah, I, I thought, thought we were... <laughs> the only one who isn't is uh, we've all because they're racist. Well, look, <laughs> I'm getting paid. When... I'm getting paid in not going to jail. Yes, that's yeah. true. Um, yes, there was that little. little well, did we have a direct communication with the Lord? Uh, not that I recall. I think we know where he is. Yeah, is we have to go little, find Conoro. Little, He's in the that minor town. town. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. To go back there and. Report. I was going to say, you can always try Kavanaugh again. Yeah. Uh, that worked out. <laughs> he already tried talking to Lord Kavanaugh. Yeah. yeah I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to, you, do you spend the night at least sleeping in soft beds, having yes. your own baths? Is there yes. a nice lot, big tree? Uh, nice... No. No, sadly. 
Mm. Most of them are covered in snow and ice, if there are any, and they stunted at being up so high mm. up in the mountains. Uh, I'm going to actually go sleep in a graveyard if there is one nearby. There are. There's there definitely is one. Definitely. Just anywhere graveyard. in the streets at this point. Yeah, just, oh, look, some homeless <laughs> dead people. Just use them as pillows. No, um, no, I'll, I'll go and find a quiet, cool graveyard to go in and, and rest in, preferably under, like, a large, gnarled kind of tree. Yeah, you and um, Iris are busy looking for these trees. Up here in the mountains, there ain't no trees. There's, there's gnarled bushes and things at best. The pine trees don't even grow this high up. But, yes, you eventually find a nice, definitely cold grave, um, without uh, a doubt. I go find, oh. I, after I spend some time in the kitchen, I go find Sid. If yeah. I can. You stand company. at the top of his grave looking down at him. Oh, oh, uh, is this a bad type? Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, sure. How can I help you, Iggy? I made you something. And I like roll out like the most doughy bread you've ever seen in your life. You know, you make food for everyone, and I felt like, like maybe I make food for you, one time, because you let when you said I wasn't eating people, I trusted you and I ate it. So now, I, I this is what I made for you as a symbol of our new friendship. <laughs> Sid Sid doesn't move in his grave for a little bit while he's talking. Like he's just still lying down. He's just, mm. he'll then stand up and sort of climb out of the grave that he's dug. And he'll accept the the dough. What's the viscosity of this mm. substance? Mm, very bad. Yeah, like he tried okay. to bake it. It's burnt on one side, and he probably you see there's Old bandages on his fingers, and he's just like he yeah, tried and he yeah. failed, and it was bad. Is there meat in this? Uh, yeah, I put it in the middle. I don't know if it cooked though. I don't. Also, does that matter? Dig around. <laughs> I like yeah, dig around like, the middle. There's like little giblets of bacon. So you just you like you made him terrible bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the world's worst bow. Uh, I'll 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 pick it up and I'll be like pork. I like pork. Yeah, you like it. Well, you know, I know that we didn't really um, like. I was really scared of you uh, when we first met, but I feel like you know you're you're like Ray. You'll keep me safe when things are down. Though that one time when you told the Bane Lord that, that that you were gonna, I was pretty scared. But I I I knew you know I knew you were a trickster, so that was fine, sort of. Um, Sid's just staring at him like with this like, <laughs> <laughs> like just this straight face, and he goes, "You're right. You should be scared of me." I'll pick at the bacon things and I'll go back into. The, I'll, I'll I'll actually keep eating it. And uh, and slide back into my grave. Um, but I but I'm not anymore. Is what I was trying to say. I mean, you could shiv me if you want, but um, you, you, know, you know you 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 belong here, whether you believe it or not. You're just like you a ghoulish me. thumbs up come out of the grave. Just... Okay. <laughs> oh. All right, we're, you know, we're he's talking. Just, he's just wondering about the fact that he got permission to shiv someone. <laughs> Iris. Is... <laughs> So we're just like, oh, that's a bad idea. That's fine. <laughs> Sid, um, Sid finishes and sort of licks his fingers. And as he says, he goes, thank you for the food. Yeah. I appreciate what you said. Maybe we can do like, you know, tradesies on Fridays or something. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> and then Iggy realizes he's all alone in a graveyard at night. And the entire of the breach is all empty except for the citadel <laughs> at the middle. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Got to roll. I'm not scared of you, but I'm scared of anything else that might come out of this cage. Bye. <laughs> See you later. I just want Iggy to like walk up to Sid one time and just like suddenly his eyes go black. You think you're the only serial killer here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I leave. And he goes, "Yeah, but uh, I'm the only one who doesn't have jaundice." Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I'll, jaundice is for as, lovers. As, as soon as, as soon as Iggy's out of sight. Um, I'll go to a nearby bush, and uh, he just starts vomiting uh, blood in this huge way, uh, like all the dough and 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 the the bacon and all that. Because uh, unfortunately, ghouls can't eat anything but but the human stuff. But he did it didn't as a you symbol, tell me? <laughs> and he didn't say anything. But he's a chef, 
and he knows well first of all he he never wastes food and if it was made for him it was important for him and he held on to it up until the point where one of his organs failed uh, so, <laughs> so he sort of sort of goes like limps back to his to his seat as he wipes blood from his mouth and he just sort of collapses rolling in oh, i swear this is one of the most tiring missions i've ever had <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, like he's like, this is that was a great show of friendship. He even ate my whole roll. I'll make him another one. <laughs> Listen to him shout with joy about our friendship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's hurling with joy. That's what bulls do. <laughs> he's wolfing it down right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Iris would actually uh, fly up probably to the highest part of the citadel sure. and just sit there and watch and listen to the loss and the wails and the depression and something that's very nostalgic to her from a very long time ago and watching it over and over again. And she just bears witness to it okay. and respects their experience. She doesn't feel right going to sleep in a happy, comfortable bed. She stays and watches and listens. You look from this high tower out over the entire breach and from here you are afforded a view down into what is known as the um, blasted lands where the bane lords supposedly hail from and it might be your imagination it might not be but when you look out as far as you can see into that abysmal dark space way on the distance it looks like the horizon is on fire burning with a very red and orange flame but in this dim light it could be 10 miles away it could be 100 miles away you wouldn't be able to tell and every now and again you hear drifting on that cold cold breeze this bizarre screaming which is not coming from the breach itself it appears to be coming from within the territories of the Bane Lords. What is making it, you couldn't possibly imagine, but it sounds like thousands and thousands of people screaming all at once in unison. And uh, it echoes around just faintly in the background. That would also be very nostalgic to Iris. The so. The Long screaming, thousands of people screaming, screaming at once. That's right, that's right. The I night passes. Woodstock. Sometimes it passes quickly. Sometimes it takes a longer time. I would imagine that there's an awkward time uh, with Ray as uh, you two are assigned one of the rooms that has a double bed in it. Yeah, it's weird and awkward, but uh, Orion would help me out of my armor. Yes. And if this were a show, the camera would see it. Uh, Ray has a uh, diamond in a cage tattooed on his chest. There you go. There you go. The he sun... sleeps on the floor. Sorry? He sleeps on the floor. Aww. You really don't have to do that. The bed is big enough. Yeah, I know. It's good, though. Just uh, toss me one damn little uh, straw thing so I can put it on my head. She throws you several of these straw-filled pillowcases. All right, it's perfect. I'm I'm much more comfortable now, actually. Thank you. Okay. Good night, Ray. Good night. Sleep well, Ryan. The sun finally rises the following morning, and maybe it is your imagination, but those dark thunder clouds that had once blotted the sky seem to have retreated as much as the Bane Lord's influence has now completely been erased from the castle. From where you are, you are all woken by a rather urgent knocking on your door as respective pages, who are looking a little bit less grey from the day before, have been urgently sent to wake you. Yeah. You've all been summoned to the primary chamber of His Majesty, the oh, Lord good. of Breacher Castle. Great. 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 Cool. Audience with the crazy old man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, tell him, tell him Auntie Dottie can't come this morning and that he needs to wipe his own bottom. Yes. 
man, just five more no, minutes. No, you have to, you have to, sir, as I get a phone so there's, call. So there's a page that's been sent and is yelling into an open grave. Yeah, I was just thinking the I same am. thing. <laughs> I, I, I have to, I hate it here. You roof. have to come with me, man, just to get yeah, me out of this the, graveyard. The, the page is definitely in It could be like, I could have seen them like trying to draw straws about which one of us messed up people they had to go find. I'm like, please let it be Ray. Please let it be Higgy. And there's one screaming at a rooftop and one yelling in a graveyard. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll also yell out to this guy. I'll say to this guy, look, look, son, now I'm going to explain something to you. Is that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And um, we ghouls, we have a particular, you know, favorite. We call it the English breakfast. And, uh, well, you look pretty English to me. So, um, um, I am most sure definitely wait. not English. He says, trying to put on an accent. I like this kid. Do not eat this kid. I'm like, damn it. Yeah, Je ne parle pas Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, look at you lying to save your life. It, it, it's now not that's... me summoning you, sir. It's the Dark Elf. The what now? The Dark What's Elf. What's he doing here? What do they want? Why are they always on the surface? Why can't they go back down underground? He says, he's, he's, alone. He's, he says he's one of you. One of us? Oh. Is what, a ghoul? Oh, no, the Tam Sarai guy elf. showed up. Cool. Yeah, but I don't put I'm just, I right, fine, I'm coming. Let me get me pants on. <laughs> the page rail, <laughs> the page is traumatized from here to next Tuesday. Are you <laughs> shirt cocking it in an open grave? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. How do you sleep? <laughs> oh God. A very traumatized page leads <laughs> Sidon into the audience chamber. And you can see sitting on the throne, not the um, crazy lord, but instead a rather roguish looking drow who, um, as you arrive, he steps forward. He says, ah, very good to meet you. I'm most impressed with your uh, timeless arrival. After what you did yesterday, from what I've heard, uh, I would be sleeping to myself. Um, uh, my name is uh, Kokad uh, Nadrak. You have heard of me? Kakadre? Nadra. Oh, yes. Kachade. Is it Kachade? Kachade. I got it wrong. <laughs> I got it wrong. I'm yeah! so sad. I'm so sad now. Kachade. I hate that name. I hate that name. Kachade. Kachade Nadra. That's his name. Uh, have we have we heard of, of Kachade? Uh, no, not necessarily. He's operated in very different circles. Is Kuchari alone? Uh, he is at the moment. Um, he says, uh, uh, I'm sorry, you're going to have to. I'm terrible with, with names and, and faces. Apparently so am I. And... Listen, uh, uh, what, what, you were Tam Sarai? Yes. Uh, what are you, what's, what's the, what's the deal? What, what are you here for? My brothers, one of whom had a fabulous beard, and I <laughs> have made all haste to get here as fast as we possibly could when we heard what was happening. You see, we have come quite some distance in a mere smattering of weeks to get here. It is unfortunate that my two brothers did not yet get here. They are delayed. Various things are happening in the forlorn wood. Do not go there. It's very bad. I have arrived because I need your assistance. Okay. Mm, whilst you have been dealing with matters here on the surface, petty small things which don't concern anyone, we have discovered there is something that threatens the very nature of everything we hold dear. Yeah. The queen of the drow has been taken over by the Ben Lords. Oh my god, yeah. this is a shock. Oh no, my gosh. Anyway. You're hearing the note that sent message. <laughs> Just how sarcastic everyone is in an instant. I don't understand. Like... You, maybe you didn't hear me. The queen of the Dark Elves, the greatest empire that is ever known to exist, yeah. Yeah. is controlled by Ben Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, yeah. I've already sent a note to you about yeah. that. Uh, no, we, we yeah. know. Just another guy. Did that not we all do not all get our notes? <laughs> no, we sent. We also Narda. killed the Bane Lord that was doing it. Oh, uh, we killed one of the Bane Lords that were doing it. We're not sure. Yeah, if one that of them was at true. least. And we've already sent message to the other Dark Elves of what's going on. And we dealt with another guy who had a really creepy smile. He yeah. was going to check on the Queen. Anyway, do you have any more information other than that? Otherwise, you just wasted your time. Uh, 
I know where she is. Oh, okay. That actually is pretty good. Okay, I like that one. Is she Can on the way to come to the Cyprus? Is, is no. she in... I presume she's in the capital or some nonsense, right? No. No, she's underneath what? us, because they said we, we were supposed to have an audience with her, and they wanted us to come there, which was too far. How about uh, it? Wh where is she? I'm waiting to answer that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. The queen, yes, fine. She was last sighted. We... Let me... Step back a few steps here. There's much confusion going on here. So, we discover that the Queen of the Dark Elves is under my control of a bin lord looking for an artifact known as the Fifth Star, the Star of the Fifth House, I think is the right name. Yeah, it's in a book, and I hold up the book. <laughs> How do you know everything? You know all of this already. What am I doing here? This seems a waste of my time. Maybe, but you know where she is. That's important. And yeah, dark, so I was getting you. there. So as we it's were a, journeying here... You didn't see it that's coming. What? Yeah, it's Don't a pity worry about you didn't see here. this big waste of time coming. No. And nonetheless, as I was journeying here with my companions, that is when, when we split up because there was problems in the forlorn world. Don't go there. So I then went on further, and I was in the tunnels down below. I came to the surface through the normal means. Uh, there are some very strange things going on underneath this castle, by the way. Uh, drought pouring liquid into the well. It's very confusing. Um, yeah, they will be in my control. You left your party behind? What kind of asshole splits the party up to go investigate something? I'm not investigating. People are efficient. I like this guy. I, People are prescient. You don't understand. The thing that's happening in the forlorn wood, it is the I'm surface is needed to deal with it. My partners, they're very competent, very good people. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, they, they, they dealt with that on the surface. I was sent on because I am Trust Dark Elf and this is a Dark Elf where, matter. Where's the, where's the queen? Okay, good. Glad you asked that question. So the queen... I believe is directly underneath the village of Villadoc, way to the east of here. I am not entirely sure why she is there, but all I know is that she is infected by some kind of mind control from the Bane Lords, and we must remove this mind control. Okay. Yeah, salt water. Fix it right up. Well, it might not be the same thing. In fact, it's she probably might... the yeah, same thing. That's what I'm thinking. It sounds like it's not... Now, I, I apologize. Maybe, maybe, I mean, the queen, very important, all that. But just humorous here for a moment. What's happening in Forlorn Woods, woods exactly? In the Forlorn Woods? There is a disturbance, an incursion of, uh, it appears to be, the screaming forest is starting to grow within the Forlorn Woods. You know what the screaming forest is? Oh yeah, you know everyone knows what the uh, the screaming forest is. That's uh, sure do. Uh, <laughs> no. Rare loud trees. Knowing it. That Iris, what's the floor on words? What's the screaming woods? It's the cursed woods, isn't it? Where I'm from? No, no, no. no is it the no. other one? No. I, I rolled a. I, I rolled a. Uh, 22. The Screaming Forest is a forest that sailors have seen from the shore uh, uh, from, from, from the shore. They have seen on the shore of the only territory that uh, is accessible by sea that the Bane Lords control. They swear the trees move and scream. And so the entire area is known as the Screaming Forest. Yeah, those, those trees that move and scream and stuff. Uh, they do what? far more than that, let me tell you. They are cannibals. They uh, infect new forests and then consume them en masse, replacing them with these trees. They don't just oh. consume trees, they consume the living as well, of course. My partners have gone to investigate that. They felt it was important. I came to warn you. We knew you were here. Lord Conroy said that you were here dealing with um, an issue. That had to do with the Dark Elves. He said we should unite and share the information we have with each other and work together so that it would be stronger. But apparently, you know everything I know. And, well, we didn't know where the Queen was. Now that you've shared that with us, you are extremely helpful. Thank you so much for coming. Ah. You say that one of the assistants was a smiley one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Really creepy smile. You remember the name he gave you? Uh, I think he does. <laughs> I have it right here somewhere. <laughs> because if it's the one that I am thinking of, 
then you should know he is definitely in league with the Dark. The Bane Lords have got to him long ago. Great. That checks out. We yeah. must not trust him. Will you come with me into the Underdark? <laughs> mm. Good setup for that request. Yeah. Must never trust this Bane Lord guy. Come with me into the dark. <laughs> Roy, listen, I'm um, different. Or I'm do you want to go to Villadoc over the surface? I go in from underneath and we ah, pinch them. It is a better maneuver. We do have also when... the drow that were like downstairs that know about what's going on. And we, we think there's worms. We could also start giving them salt water on the way down to start relieving the pressure but on the he, dark. Here's the, the problem with that theory. Once the once Lord Gash died, all the people who were infected suddenly were incapable of action. Like they were running into walls. They couldn't think straight. So if this queen is still capable of action, then we are 100% sure we're dealing with a third Bane Lord. That's like, that's like way more than usual. I mean, what are the statistics on this? Yeah, we got like two. I thought happen. two was going to be an amazing thing. I'd also like to, um, you I'd also like to make a... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there were two here temporarily, but they're both dead. Look, uh, just just uh, to, to kind of make a point here, um, old mate here, Kuchide, uh, he decided uh, he came here, he's been traveling for weeks, right? Which means the information he's got, you know, has to be weeks old. We literally, as of last night, killed the Bane Lord, which means the Queen might be perfectly fine. We just wouldn't have any way of gaining information about that. But on the same token as that, it would be if all the people who had the worms in them became normal again, there's a could be hundreds of drow bumping into walls downstairs that will slowly starve to death if no one goes and starts distributing salt to them. Boy, that's true. But remember, our task is to deal with Bane Lords. And we dealt with them, but it's also, we have to... It's true. But this thing about the Screaming Woods doesn't necessarily strike me as unimportant. You know, from the sounds of it, that can get out of hand pretty quick. And if your your old mates are in, in, you know, any kind of trouble, I mean, you're over here, they're over there. I mean, is this something we should ignore? I mean, not to, not to be that guy, but... Darkland problems are, well, you know, there are drow down there for that, and this is a surface problem. We're from here. Also, you on that say... note, we, we got to get to the, deliver the message to our, our friends so we can help this, this city, the breach. Well, we did. We sent that one guard, but we don't know if the message actually got through. Well, no, the, the guard went all the way, way far away from there. We had, they, we, they're in the city. So they're in the so city, which is help. like leagues and leagues away. This guy is like a league away, I think, or two. And it's also in that mining the, town, right? Yeah, in the mining town. Yeah. yeah we and also, we know the drow are moving through the tunnels underneath, at least in this region. We should be able to check it on the queen here, because then we know. Because if we don't, and she's a bane lord, she's just going to pop up under the ground. It could attack a breach while it's still weakened. Yeah, I, I agree. I think we we might lose the breach if we leave the queen in play. She If she's just all numbed out and... and and Dunzo, then we don't have anything to worry about. But if she's not, that's a serious risk we're leaving to the breach. And I don't think Lord well, Conroe has well, the people to handle it. All right. So I'm, look, I'm just, I'm just saying that perhaps this is something else. I mean, if we, the odds of her still being under the influence of a Bane Lord is, I mean, statistically quite low. If we killed Lord Gash. I don't know. But then she'd be walking how? around. As... We don't. We don't. Oh, actually... That's Sam asking. How? Do, do I know what? the statistics of Bane Lord activity? Yeah, that's a that's a big that's an icky question. <laughs> he probably does well, know. I mean, like, he... I, I mean, the thing is, is what are the odds? What are the odds that the Queen is under the control of an entirely different Bane Lord, serving to instruct her order to provide nutrition for the Bane Lord and be such an integral part of what Lord Gash was doing? And then also not be controlled by Lord Gash, despite I mean, us seeing like two a in ton the of drow that I would ha- hand you the note. Draw attention to Gash's plan. Succeed, and I will elevate you in the city, which means there's another one in the city. Fail, and you need not return. Gash is attempting to induce the Dark Elves to Somak to look there first, meaning the Dark Elves are also involved. Meaning someone had to be working down below as well. I mean, and those but, don't forget. And that, that means there's another the person. Other mainland that we. And that means they but got that led you to the other Bane Lord. But that that first note came for the Bane Lord we destroyed. Yeah. In 
right. the so that's mine town. Off. That that's one. who wrote that letter was the one you killed. No, that yep. one. You, that you the letter came from someone else in the, in the city. There was no Bane Lords in the mine town. All the all the Bane Lords we killed were in the Breacher Castle. Yeah. And they were working together. Well, there was yeah, the one yeah. that was the goblin, that we. That, that was a that was a henchman and a, a some some. Oh, that, was, yeah, that, was a, yeah. that was an av- avatar or an aspect. Yeah. But imagine. this note came from someone in the city, meaning there is we, at least one more when, Bane Lord on the table. Uh, we did. We discovered possibly that more. We discovered that that caster Bane Lord, because remember I had the psychic floor, so I sensed that that that's how I knew that that caster lady was a Bane Lord. Because I took the resonance from that letter, so the reality hmm. is we have no idea. We have two options. We can either let the, like I don't know how we already have people on, the forest, and then we have the the, the dark elf queen where we have nobody. Uh, and if they're both bane lords, they already have Tamsarai there. Technically, they should be just as competent as we are. So we should split our resources and figure out what's going on. And if there's nothing in the queen's place, we head over. That'd be my vote. Was the this is very complicated? Uh, I, I, uh, uh, we've been through a whole thing, mate. Don't don't you don't you worry about yourself about it. I would look. <sighs> I I agree with that simple basic logic. Is that if there's no Tom Saroy, um looking into the Queen, then yeah, sure, maybe that's something we should we should look at doing. But you know, uh, last thing I need is like you know to be responsible in part because we were off the scene when a giant swarm of trees ended up taking over half the freaking surface there's a tamsari contingent there we send kachude over there and we we move on to the drow queen that'll be fine they have three we you know, have four but the good thing is about it if, we, do help, if yeah. we also help the queen a could give us allies or b these make sure that the dark elves that they're not going to be allies are off the board that's what i'm saying yeah we're good so i think oh, we're I in agreement that. here is yeah. that so uh, um all right then i'm glad we're in agreement uh, so you must leave now because to get from here you would head all the way to the coast i guess and then take a ship so you have uh, three oh, or no, four I, weeks I'm, we're good I, I have another way to get there can't uh, we go through the tunnels with those two guys the, we know i know the coordinates the general coordinates for the city right would that are, get me are close? we going to the city are we going i have a bunch of coordinates on here and they gave me general locations they did indeed. Uh, the city was one of them. Villadoc was another. The Citadel was another. Perfect. We can get there right now. Yeah, weren't we? Yeah, we go to Villadoc. Yeah, we that just, we just have to get seen, Yes. Yeah. yeah, we've got we've got a we got a way to get there. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. I want to go on record and say I don't like that thing, but I'm not thrilled yeah. about it either. But I trust yeah. Diggy. He knows his stuff. I know magic. And anyway, don't don't worry about that. You you just get a message to O'Connor and then go back up your party that you left behind selfishly. Don't worry about it. Okay, I will leave. Fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the queen. You just remember, never trust Ithbin. He is not one to be Ithbin. trifled with. The okay. smiling one. The smiley one. Yeah, I didn't. I, he seemed okay, but I guess I didn't. I'm, I'm not very good at reading people. That's what you guys are for. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. In case, I will leave. Okay. All right. If you can deliver a message to Lord Carnero, you should be on your way. And uh, let us let him know that what we're after. I shall indeed inform him, yes, without a doubt. Okay. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. Do you head back to the chamber with the axes? Yeah, uh, I guess if that's what we're gonna do, then uh, how, it much, how much health do we get when we uh, when we rest, like proper rest? Uh, I think you get it all back. We're just restoring. Great. Yeah, and if yeah, not, we're right. gonna get it all back anyway because it doesn't matter. Sure. At this point. Okay. Right. Oh man, I am. I'm. Oh, oh, I am going to uh, say that I need a quick minute to get everything ready. I will return momentarily. While everyone is busy saving everyone and stuff, I'm going to loot the castle and try to find the uh, king's treasure. <laughs> and stuff my pockets. All this right. All right. I, I, I'll I give you that. Um, I'll give you give you that. So, um, yes. Um, you, you, you grab stuff 
as you can. No one is stopping you. Everyone treats you guys as gods because as far as they're concerned, oh, awesome. you save the day. And so, yes, you manage to, to... You can roll 3d6. Oh, no. Uh, that is a 15. A 15. Let me just make sure here that I am not going to break the game here. Uh, so you get 150 gold. Nice. Hell yeah. Which in this game is a fortune. Can I search while well, everyone's searching things? Can I get the... Uh look for some mage stuff because there was that mage's house and stuff like that and i want to see if i can get like a wand or the tower well like the their secret room and all those coordinates i didn't really search through all that stuff and i want to see if there's like any spells or or like magey equipment I oh gotcha. i give you that book with the giant the old ancient spell in it that you never looked at because we didn't have time that's true yeah that's yeah, true i can i can give that a good gander too well i'm gonna you see know... if there's like a repair kit or some basic <laughs> <laughs> okay so before you head off you know that you're going to save yourselves just two weeks worth of travel time so you might as well kick back a little and so what's some light looting pilfering plundering or, or just repairing your equipment uh at the local blacksmiths that is what you do we will resolve that out of game thank you all for watching thank you all for playing as we have got to the end of our time today we'll be back next week with uh, the next phase in our journey perhaps or perhaps not find out join us next week until then i thank you all uh, for watching i thank you all for playing and goodbye